Well, good morning. Good morning. And welcome to a very special day. I'm Dave Kleiss, Mayor of St. Cloud, and it is certainly uh, an honor. This is a day that um, a lot of folks in this room I probably didn't think would happen in their, in their lifetime, or would have a little bit more gray hair than they have, or a lot of folks, this is a project that's taken a long time to happen, and you know, it's kind of a, a fitting that it's um, snowing today. <laughs> You know, for the for the grand opening, because uh, I, I had some folks that there are some folks that were some what detractors from this and said it would be a day like today before this happened, and <laughs> <laughs> it's a day like today. <laughs> and it is uh, it is nice to see uh, there are a lot of folks that did a lot of work in this, and I want to recognize uh, some people again. This was something that you know four years ago, and it started a long way before then. Uh, a lot of folks have been wanting a skate park our skate plaza here in St. Cloud um, for, for well over 12 years and even beyond that. But it really started in earnest about four years ago, four and a half years ago. It was our sesquicentennial, our, our celebration of our, our city's 150th anniversary. And uh, I was at, we had a bridge fest over by the bridge downtown in, in uh, Austin Lee. Is Austin somewhere in the crowd here? All right, Austin's going to say a few words in a little bit. But Austin then was uh, 14 at that time. and. Uh, it, 14, which is what, eighth grade? He's, fresh, he's a freshman in college now, so it gives you a little perspective on time, how long this took. But uh, he came up to me and, and uh, wanted to set up an appointment. And, he, and I've said this the story many times, but I think it's, it's fitting. It came up, he had an appointment, came to my office, dressed in a tie, and had all these diagrams of a skate park. And, and as normally is the case, especially you know four and a half years ago, a lot of folks uh, came to my office always uh, looking for the city to pay for things and to spend money in that respect. And uh, so Austin's first, you know, city should have a skate park. And, uh, he's, and I, my standard line still is today, you know, the city doesn't have any money. <laughs> uh, and uh, he said, well, I don't want to, you know, the city to bid, I want to help the city raise the money to do it. And, and that was something that really sticks out in my mind. And, uh, and his, uh, his, you know, because of that, actually, his fortitude and his persistence, I put him on the park and rec board. He's yeah. the youngest member of the park and rec board uh, in the nation. In fact, got a, I got a little uh, attention from ABC News as the person of the of the week, which is kind of a neat thing. You know, you got you get Bill Clinton and the Dalai Lama and Austin Lee. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it was uh, it was it was that that put him on there, and he you know, and I found that his board members too uh, felt that he had some leadership skills too, and made him chair of that board. I think also the youngest person to chair the Park and Rec board. Uh, and uh, again, after those four and a half years, um, with his persistence and bringing a lot of his his friends and, and family, and I can't say enough about uh, Jeff and Char, too, who really have been motivating uh, in this uh, endeavor. Uh, I put a lot of effort and work into that. And, you know, uh, raising a hundred and, you know, close to $150,000, $150,000 of private donations from a lot of young folks is, is something that's very impressive. Uh, I, and for somebody who does fundraising, uh, it's, it's difficult to do that for almost any project. But to raise uh, that kind of money uh, with some folks that just want to see their community be a better place and have an opportunity to go to have a, a you know a place to to hang out and to and to just you know be young people and that's the thing that's really neat and they raised that money uh, we had some park improvement funds that we added to that and i want to thank the the council's been very supportive here too and uh, we've got some council members here uh, george hantos and uh, john lippert are here and then we have our Council member elect, I guess that's the term, Nancy Goldman uh, here also. Uh, you know, folks that have been very, very supportive in, in this project coming to this location. Uh, and also, and I'm going to have uh, in a minute uh, our parks director, Scott Slotnick, who also has been just uh, great in this, in this capacity. But we have Prentice Foster. And Prentice, Prentice out here too? Prentice was actually the parks director during the time that this started four and a half years ago. So. Prentice had a lot of uh, a lot of vision. You'll see a lot of things, and did a lot of work to make this happen too. Uh, so it's uh, it's something that um, again, our community can be very proud of uh, having this here in St. Cloud, and it's one of those things that I think people, you know, and it's it's in a great location. It's a, it's very visible, and it's very well done. Uh, you know, Mike Goldman, Goldman Construction, did a wonderful job of doing this. Uh, you know, not only uh, getting it done on time or ahead of schedule, actually. And uh, you know, earlier this week. Um, you know, I, and I told Jeff, because I'm always concerned about when you open something up, you open it up for the public on a certain day, and we were going to open it today. And so I you know, thought, you know, we really can't open it before it's, you know, we actually have possession of it, and it's done. 
Um, so I'm, you know, I open up the paper on Wednesday and I, I see the picture with the Libcom Award, some folks skating out. <laughs> I go, well, I guess it's open, so just let them skate. Um, so, but which was fine, you know, we took, uh, we took over control of it earlier. And, you know, we had some beautiful days. So, you know, to see 120 kids out there uh, in this location uh, skating is something that's really neat. It's, it's, a, it's a venue. There has not been a skate plaza in this area. And, uh, you know, we have lots of tennis courts and we have lots of volleyball courts and soccer fields and softball fields and all kinds of other amenities for young people. Uh, but for one of the most popular sports in the country, we don't. And now we do. And we have, I believe, one of the best in the state of Minnesota. Woo! So with that, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna have uh, Scott Slotnick come up again, who's done a, just a super job of making sure and directing this project and making sure it happens. And, uh, and uh, we also had the good sense to, uh, to uh, when we, you know, they got some, uh, we cleaned this building up before, otherwise we wouldn't have any room to, to be in here <laughs> today. So, uh, and this project, again, it's going to look even better in the spring uh, when you get everything in the green and all the rest of this out here, but it's a great project. But I want to introduce Scott Slotnick and have Austin also come up here and say a few words. And then after this uh, brief little ceremony here, uh, we're going to go outside and actually cut a ribbon to officially open. And I was going to skate today, but it's snowing. <laughs> I was really going to do some massive tricks. You would have seen something just awesome. But, but I was told you really shouldn't use the board out in this kind of weather. So, uh, so you'll have to wait 10, 20 years for that, for the, for the dedication. But Scott Slotnick, our Parks Director. Well, thank you, certainly, Mayor Kleiss. Uh, I think I've heard him talk about not doing things before. And I think it was Granite City days when we were going to wakeboard and something with the weather, too, I think, came up. But, uh, you know, I was talking to Jeff Lee on the way in, and I said, you know, the bad thing is it's snowing. I said the great thing is you won't have to cook 500 hamburgers today. So that's a, that's a real positive note. But, but thank you all for coming. Uh, even though the weather is slightly inclement, it's always very encouraging to see people come out to these types, types of activities. Today we deliver to you, the public, uh, and the youth of our community, a 20,000 square foot, state-of-the-art, one-of-a-kind skate plaza in St. Cloud. Give yourselves a big hand for this accomplishment. It, it truly is an amazing accomplishment, and, and I am very proud to be involved in the planning uh, and the actual implementation and construction to see a final project such as this. It is a one-of-a-kind. There is no other facility in the country like it. It exists solely on its own here in St. Cloud, so we should be very proud of that. With that, there's certain people that we need to thank, and I'd like to thank uh, the City Council and Mayor Kleiss for their continued support on this project. Without it, uh, it would have never came to fruition. Uh, I'd like to thank the Park and Recreation Advisory Board for their support on this project as well to help bring this forward and the recommendation of the Council. I'd like to thank the Skate Plaza Group, the grassroots group that started the fundraising and continue with the efforts and the collections and who knows if they went out even and picked up tin cans just to throw nickels in buckets and change jars just to get to the point where we're at. Uh, the goal was $150,000. I believe that we are at that today and we will be uh, meeting that goal. So my hat's off to that group as well. <laughs> even though there is an extremely large list of them, I encourage you to go to stcloudskateplaza.com, but I'd like to thank the contributors and the donors to the project. There's lots of civic groups, lots of private business and, and, and individuals that have donated to, to this cause and it is a worthy project cause. I'd like to uh, thank our professional services team and our construction team and as I introduce these people I'd just like them to step forward because working with these individuals uh, bar none is the one of the most exceptional groups of people that I've ever worked with to smoothly transition through projects with minimal changes, minimal cost adjustments and just bare bones implementation. And that's sort of fitting of a skate park. We don't mess around, we just get it done. So with that, I'd like to, this bonus drill, Jeff McDowell here, uh, there was our lead consultant. I'd like to thank bonus drill. I do see Mike McIntyre and Canton Russell from ASD, please come forward. <laughs> Action Sports Design, this is the California firm that uh, we brought in. We wanted the, the experts, uh, we weren't comfortable bringing them in from California alone, so we brought in the local to assist as well. So I'd like to thank these guys. Also with that, I'd like to thank the St. Cloud Engineering Department for doing a lot of the survey work and a lot of the civil engineering as part of this project. Uh, and I'd especially like to thank the general contractor, Goleman, and, and two individuals. Yeah, Goleman. 
like to recognize Jeff Ryder, the project manager, and uh, Kevin Meyer, the project superintendent, come forward, gentlemen. As I suggested, uh, this team has been exceptional to work with. Uh, they're consummate, consummate professionals, and uh, I sincerely appreciate the opportunity to work with you gentlemen, and uh, I hope you all the best in the future. Thank you for helping us deliver this amenity to the citizens and the youth of St. Cloud. With that, I'd like to ask Austin Lee to come up and say a few words. Austin. How's everybody doing? It's, yeah. it's here. I was going to bring my jumpsuit, maybe a snowsuit, so that uh, we could really celebrate today. But uh, I'd just like to say thank you to everybody, everybody that came out today, everybody that's been here throughout the whole process. Um, it's just been insane. And I, I did write a speech because there's kind of a lot of emotion going on right here through being in this room and uh, I probably wouldn't remember everything even though everything that happened truly it's in here for all of us skateboarders so uh, really I can't even I can't even believe this day it, it has finally come and to be here looking over at everyone is a dream a dream that is true and uh, as much as everyone says the process is, is finally over I feel like it has just begun this is just a section that we'll all enjoy. Throughout the last four years, I've gotten to work with some of the most amazing people, and uh, I cannot have asked for better support from everyone involved. For us to be able to stand here today, despite the weather, and still have a great time, really shows the positive vibes that got every one of us here at St. Cloud's first snow-covered skate plaza. <laughs> <laughs> it would not be here today without the huge amounts of time and help given by Mary Kleiss and Scott Zlotnick. I cannot thank those two gentlemen enough. It means a lot to have had such an honorable people listen from the start and not give up on us or turn their heads at skateboarders, as so many people would have. All the help of the city council. My hands sweated through each meeting, <laughs> but always came out smiling ear to ear. To the Park and Recreation Board, what a positive and supportive, enjoyable group of people to work with. Every parent and skateboarder who supported the plaza positively, no amounts of energy could create as good of a vibe as you guys did. All of you made the skate plaza. Without your time and effort, we would still be skating under bridges and getting ticketed. <laughs> yeah. I gotta thank the Optimist Club, Burnix, and everybody who donated. It, it's just insane how much support we got from, from all of the donors and no amounts of words could, you know, say how much we all want to thank you. To Canton and ASD and Mike and, and everybody at Goman for, for do, putting in all the hard work and contributing their time and effort into the skate plaza, it means a lot. To Mike Pettit, Mike Tinas at the youth shelter, everybody at the youth shelter, they've all been really great. And uh, just, the huge amount, I mean, every single person here really has made a difference, and uh, this is probably one of my last speeches that I'll be giving specifically about Escape Plaza. Well, you never know in the future, but, but uh, th this day is truly an amazing day. Like I said, I can't thank everybody enough. So it's good to be here. I want to thank the city of St. Cloud for being able to have one of probably the nation's best skate plazas in the summer. Yeah. With that, I'd like everybody, it's just a quick little transition. We're just going to go outside and, and we have some ribbon, right? We're going uh, to cut a ribbon, so if everyone just wants to go outside, we'll do that real quick. Uh,